from Los Angeles. This is Montserrat Radio. Montserrat Radio. In the spirit of the war against fake news, Montserrat Radio presents The Fake News Show, conspiracy news and a different point of view of current events. And now your host, Benny Wilson. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Fake News Show. This is your host, Benny. Um, today, I'm going to try my very best to make this show short and to the point. Today's show is called, Are You a Serious Investor? And the reason why I want to talk about this, plus I have, intel, I have intel, okay, just to let you know. So I have intel. So if you find that my show it is not attractive to you, you can go back to your guru. Okay? Because I'm going to show you only in this show <clears throat> why many of you are not taking this investment serious. It is very important you take your investment serious. If you think that you're taking this investment serious, more likely you are wrong. So I'm going to just answer you, I'm going to make sure to answer your questions that you have for me. Let me start by saying this. Um, first of all, my sister in Christ, uh, Tony, was not able to be for tonight's show. She's in church. And I spoke to her on the phone and I told her something that happened to me last Saturday. For many of you, I live in Los Angeles. Um, so, I had to go to my friend's house. And I committed the mistake to take the wrong way. And I took it, I took the Hollywood Boulevard on a Saturday night. For those who don't know, 
Hollywood Boulevard is one of the most congested highways, the most congested streets that we have. So in a Saturday on a Saturday night, you can barely move. It is too much traffic. Besides, there's a lot of people that do the occasional cruising. Cruising is basically, you know, moving around from one block to another, showing up their beautiful cars, playing aloud those musics and sounds on the radio. You know what I'm talking about. So I took the Hollywood, uh, the Hollywood uh, Boulevard by mistake. And I happened to end up being in the... Uh, right beside a car, it was a Rolls Royce, it was a beautiful car, it was a Rolls Royce, it was a beautiful, expensive car. And I had my window open. So I noticed that the girl, because it was very young, the girl who was driving that beautiful Rolls Royce was playing my promo music on my show, you know, this one. That one. She was playing from. She was playing my music. So I noticed that she actually was listening to my show. So it caught my attention, and I just happened to be right beside her car. I look at her, and I noticed that she was trying to forward my podcast. Because you know, you can actually, you know, download my podcast. It's everywhere. And she was saying these words. I'm going to try to be political correct for this time. But this exactly, these are not the same words that she used. So you can get my idea. She goes, oh my God, I don't care about that bull crap. Tell me when, I get, tell me when I'm going to get paid. Tell me when I'm going to get paid. I look at her. And then she turned around and she looked at me and I just smiled. That was an eye opener. Because the probably a big huge of my audience, they don't care about my my information. They don't care about the process of the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar or even the dong. The only thing that they care about is when you gonna get paid? Am I wrong? I don't think so. And it's totally fine. Okay, it is totally fine. And why is it that I'm bringing it up? Because I received today 12 messages with the same question. Benny, when are we gonna exchange Benny? When exactly we're gonna go for the public exchange, Benny? When DRB is gonna be due? You know I got this and I got that. The same question. When are we gonna get paid? Here's my answer to all of you. If I knew when you guys gonna get paid, do you think I would I will take my time and my money to do this show every single day? I don't think it will be logic, right? I will just tell you, look, here's the RB. It's gonna be paid. The RB is gonna is gonna start. It's gonna happen on this day, and you'll be able to exchange on this day. Done deal. And I will shut everything up. For those who get it, fine. For those who didn't get it, fine. See what I'm talking about? 12 people answer me, ask me the same question. 12 people. The same question. And I count it. Single, every single one, I count it. It was so annoying that I had to turn off my chat notification on Facebook. I turned it off today. Because I can't stand people like that. I'm sorry. I just lost my patience. Nobody knows in the Netherlands. When the RB is going to happen? Nobody. My only purpose is to give you the message of the elite. According to the elite, 
to the context that I have, their plan to do the uh, public exchange by July. I have said it dozens of times. In July, they want to make the public exchange in July. Does that mean the RB is going to happen in July? No, it can happen today, it can happen tomorrow, it can happen by June the 30th, it can happen in July. Why? Because I have said it all the time. The RB, the revaluation of the racket dinar, is going to happen at any day, at any time. You need to separate the RB and go to the bank to exchange. Those are two different events. I'm going to repeat that again because many people do not understand simple English. There are two events. The RB, which is the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar, and go to the bank. Those are two events. Many people expect, and I said it also, that when a body announced the revaluation, I mean, I'm sorry, I take that back. I just confusing myself again because I'm really, really annoyed. Many people expect, expect and gurus expect that when, when a body announced the liberation, the full liberation of Mosul and Iraq, all the restrictions will, re, will be removed And finally, that's going to trigger and change the dinar value. That's what 99% of the gurus are waiting. What I have said about that, I said there is only one problem. I don't believe that. Listen, let me just remind you something. For those who are following me since three years ago, I was the idiot, I was the asshole that said in 2015, I'm sorry people, the revaluation is not going to happen in 2016. If we're lucky, we're going to have it in July of 2016. And if we're lucky, we have it by the end of 2016. Did it happen? No, it didn't happen. Then all these people followed me because I made a little sense. When everybody was calling DRB the next day, I was saying, no, it will not happen. Now, you, you either have two choices. You can either go to the man who knows and tell you that the Zimbabwe will revalue, or you can either go to David Smith and participate with his private exchange will only will give you 20%. 80% he will get it for himself. You don't trust? You don't believe me? Go to, go to his page. He repeated many times. He's saying, you will only get 20% and the rest is going to be for the humanitarian project. Really? And you can either be part of all these private groups that have been and continuous been promising a higher rate for the exchange. I go against private exchanges and I've been attacked and I continuously been attacked because I've been killing the nonsense of these gurus since three years ago. It is nonsense. I have said it. They've been brainwashing you for three years. I have people debating me, looking for my approval, that the Zimbabwe will revalue, that I'm wrong, that I'm the, I'm the nuts, I'm the crazy one, that whether, whether I like it or not, if the dragon family does not allow this, It will not happen. Yes. I've been encountered for many people like that. I have said it that gurus have killed their logic. They have killed the sense, the common sense on any investor. 
So this show is for those who wants to be serious investor. I'm going to give you a several questions for you to follow. Be so honest to yourself just like I am trying to be honest with you. I'm going to follow, I'm going to give you some hints and you're probably going to start late, but doesn't matter. It's never too late to learn something. Learn to be a serious investor. If you come in, coming up to me and ask me, Benny, when the RB is going to be? After more than 12 years, I'm sorry, but that is a very irresponsible questions. question. Nobody does. Nobody does know when the RB will happen. I can only give you the message. And the message is that according to my contacts, my ex-contacts, because I don't longer have those contacts, they have plans to do it in July. As a matter of fact, let me just tell you something. I told everybody that they wanted to do in April, last April. And you should have seen the reaction of many of my followers when I told them, change your plans. They want to do it in July. I had about 40 people getting out of my Facebook page. I'm not joking. I'm not making this stuff. And before they left, they told me all types of insults and names. You got no idea. I never understood why people react this way. Well, as a matter of fact, I, I take that back. I understand completely why there's people this way. And the reason is because of this. Chaos and panic. I sound like a broken record telling everybody, don't fall for chaos, don't fall for panic. Because money, money has a very ugly effect on people who has never had any money at all. I'm going to repeat that again. Money has a very ugly effect on people who has never had money at all. That is why I'm recommending everybody, educate yourself. And when I said educate yourself, well, I will show you a step for you to educate yourself. By going to the man who knows, who's telling you that the Zimbabwe will revalue because of a bonus. And they're going to pay you and there will be trillions and trillions of dollars on your hand. By going to morons telling you that the elders are, are telling you that this and this. By giving you all type of crap and lies for more than 12 years. And they continue giving you this bullshit. Who's the moron here? Is, are you the moron for going to those gurus? Or are they the morons? I'm going to answer to you and I don't care if you don't like it. Both of you are morons. Because those are lies. Those are fairy tales. You need to understand this. There is no such a thing about the elders. Even Reno. I even said it openly. That's why they're attacking me. I'm, not, I'm the most unpopular Good up there, but I'm probably the only one who has the balls to tell you they are full of shit. Simple. Why and where are they gonna get the money? There's something that is called trade that's been doing it. That banks have been doing it. As an ex banker, gonna tell you, banks have been doing it for years and years and years. Trading has been done. Every single day, and there are trillions and trillions of dollars being made worldwide. That's how they're going to get the money. Not because of the dragon family. Not because the elders. Or even the aliens. Yes. I have heard so many shit in the last three years when I came out. Out the open. From the State Street, in the black that I'm going to also tell you what happened to me about a month ago. I told everybody that I had a meeting with the elite. 
And I announced it because I know I was already in the blacklist. They didn't like me. Because I was basically giving you information they don't want you to know. All right? Because the more of you, the more of you being, de de being deceptive, being actually, um, the, more of, the more they can hold, hold on you, okay? The more they can delay this situation, this, this RB, more people are going to bring back their money. They're going to sell it back. Am I telling you a truth? Am I telling you a lie? I'm telling you a truth. I'm telling you a truth. A lot of people are returning their currency, are returning the dinar, are returning the dong, are returning the rupiah because they've been holding it for years and years. And people keep asking, when are I going to get paid? Now, let me give you another reason why they're also returning the money. Because the government, your government, has been telling you that dinar will never going to revalue. You don't believe me? Google it. The FBI, the CIA, the Los Angeles Police Department, in a bet any police department in the United States have been telling you that the dinar investment, it is a scam. So, when this happened, haven't I tell you that your reality will change? Yes, I have. I have told you that your reality will change not only because you're going to become very rich, but because everything around you is going to change, including government information. They're going to have to come out with all types of excuses because they're going to have to respond to the American people, not to mention the banks, Wells Fargo, Citibank, Bank of America, every single big bank. I'm sorry, I think I, I think I put something here. Every single big bank gonna have to answer to the people. Hey, you told me it wasn't going to revalue, and I revalue. That's change your reality, isn't it? If you're not convinced, then what it is? Okay. I'm trying to put all the pieces together for you to understand. Because I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to leave. And I don't even think that I'm going to stick around until July the 15th. I don't think so. I don't even know when it's going to be my last show before that. But when I leave, I want to make sure that everybody understand. Because you're going to be bombarded with false information. Even before DRB or after DRB. And you're not going to find me anywhere because I'm going to retire. And I hope you understand this. Because I'm not the only voice they, they silence. I'm just another voice that they silence. I told you that there's a guy out there in YouTube. His name is Mark Dice. He has more than 10 million people behind him. He has more, more people listening to his show than all the liberal media together. They are trying to destroy him. Even YouTube is trying to destroy him. I'm not even 1% of his audience. And guess what they're doing to me? They're flagging on my YouTube videos. They want to close my channel. Why? Because they monitor this. They don't want you to know what you are expectancies to change your life, to get out of poverty, to not to believe to bullshit like that, to fairy tales. Did you know that the fairy tale of the dragon family was actually created for you to fall for the biggest fraud coming? You hear it here. Because people will believe anything. They have killed logic. They have killed common sense. I have said it and I'll repeat it again. So, let me give you just some questions for you to consider if you are a serious investor. For a serious investor, 
you need to know what is the product that you want to invest. Investing means you put your money and you let your money work for you. That is investor, investing, okay? So if you're going to put your money to invest, understand the two factors, the two main factors, the pros and cons, okay? So there are also two other factors that you need to consider, but I will let me just tell you about the pros and cons. The pro is that you probably have in your hand a currency that will revalue in time. That's a pro. The cons is it they probably will now value revalue in time. Okay? Is that logic? Yes, it is. It is logic. Why? Because I don't have control of the the RB. I don't own the RB. Guess who owns the RB? The banks. Not even a body, the prime minister of that country owns the their own currency. You tell me one country who owns their currency. There is none. No country in the entire world owns their own currency. It is being owned by a private sector. And that private sector are bankers. They're the ones who deal that. So if the bankers own the money, they own their revaluation. They own when it's going to go up. See, a body can decide, you know, this will be done in this and that and make the announcement that Mosul will, will be liberated. But just let me remind you something. For those who have not been waiting for 12 years, for more than 12 years, for more than 12 years, this is the biggest lie that the gurus have been telling you. Oh, we're waiting for the announcement, meaning the announcement that the, 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 the dinar will revalue. That was the biggest fraud and the biggest lie. Everybody believe it. I said it many times when I started. There will never be an announcement. None. There is no announcement. Do you understand now? Okay. So, let's start from the beginning. Let's start with the, the two questions that show the pros and cons. So you already know what's the pro? The probably will revalue. What's the cons? The probably will never revalue. Okay? So why the Zimbabwe will not revalue? Because it was a it was a lie from the beginning. When that lie came out, Zimbabwe was in the verge of destruction, self-destruction, because they already been having a lot of problems, not only with their economy. But the government itself it was corrupted. And it still is corrupted. So while everybody was buying Zimbabwe's in hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. That same money, they wanted to use it for paying bills. For, for paying their mortgage. For paying anything very, very important. And guess what happened? They were losing homes. They were losing apartments. They were losing families. They were losing loved ones. Why? Because they got brainwashed. They thought that the next day they were going to revalue. That's another big false lie that they've been feeding you for more than 12 years. Am I telling you a lie? No, I'm not. Okay? So... Many of you don't know the principles of being an investor. And this show is for you because I want to make sure that you understand this. Now, again, I'm not telling you that the, uh, the dinar will not revalue. Not at all. I'm not telling you that the dong will not revalue. Not at all. Or the rupiah. No. Those are potential investments that you have on your hands. And will probably revalue. What is the percentage? As days go by right now, anything is possible. I don't have the percentage on my hand on the studies from real professional investors that will tell me, Benny, you know, these are the pros and this is the actually the, the, the numbers that probably they will, uh, will revalue or not. I don't have that on my hand. But you, under, you need to understand why they've been holding this, this, uh, this event for many years. And it's quite simple. They don't want you to be rich. Not that they don't care, because they don't care. 
but they don't want you to be rich. If you understand that part, fine, we can continue with this conversation. Okay? So what is the other part that you need to understand? You need to also understand that if you're an investor, a responsible investor, you're not going to be buying more currency more than what you can afford. That is stupid. Listen, for those who are following me in Facebook, they know I love to go to, to gambling. I am a gambler. I'm not perfect. I said it many times. I'm a gambler. I go to casinos. I spend good part of money going there. But that's money that I can waste. The, the, the word is money I can waste. Because money is nothing if you're not going to enjoy it. Would you agree with me? I, be, I, I guess you can, you can agree with me. So, when I go to, um, go, when I go to um, 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 a casino, I just have a specific amount of money I want to waste. I want to invest in my entertainment. If I lose it, that's fine. If I win, that is totally fine. I'm not coming back, not even one day feeling guilty for not paying my rent, my mortgage, and my utilities because I was an idiot spending more money than what I is supposed to do. No. I have said it in my announcement that through all the years that I've been being in the open, people have lost their homes, their apartment, even the loved ones because they see how irresponsible people are. Stop it. Stop the nonsense. If you like this information, keep listening. If you do not like this information, please move out of the way. Because only the rich that were born to be rich are going to continue to be rich in years to come. I have said it many times. I have said it many times. That after the RB happens, 98% of the people who exchange are going to go broke in the next three years. And a lot of people attack me because of that. And why? Because they are not serious investors. If you are going to be such a responsible individual to go broke by buying currency that literally is dead. It's just sitting there. Is dead. And you're not paying your bills. You're not paying your responsibilities. Guess what's going to happen when you, when you hit the jackpot? You're going to go broke. Because the same respect that you give it to that dead currency. Is going to be the same respect you're going to deal with your own money. Shame on you. The same respect. If you don't respect your money, money will not respect you. That's true. You can show this into any economic expert. I'm an ex-banker. You tell them this. It is true. That this make make any sense. And I bet you they will say, listen to, listen to him. Yes. Listen. Before you become rich, right now, today is, today is Wednesday, it's 3 or 3 p.m. Before you become rich, how about if you take a note, take a piece and a paper, I mean a pen and a piece of paper, a pen and a piece of paper, and do a plan to exchange. And people coming, coming out to me and say, what is the plan to make exchange? Well, let me give you some, some thoughts, some ideas. Many of you carrying Vietnam Dong and Dinar, some of you even have multiple currencies. I don't know. If you're going to exchange, are you going to put all your money in one account? Have you considered that you need to, that in some currencies you will not pay taxes, in some currencies you will? Have you done your investigation? With your banker, with an expert in, fi in finance, in your bank, 
Have you make any research? What currencies you will pay taxes and what currencies you will not? Have you considered yourself that probably by doing exchange with a limited company, we call it LAC, or a company, or probably with the state, you can save a lot of money with taxes? Have you done any research? Because if you haven't, guess what's going to happen? You have $20 million in exchange. And here comes the government and will take half of it. Can you avoid that? Yes, you can. Do your research. If you haven't done your research, you're not a serious investor. Okay? You're not a serious investor. Now, let me give you another hint. Let me give you another information. Take a pen and a piece of paper and write down. Okay? All right, I'm going to do this change. This part will go to account for dinar. This kind will go to uh, account for the dome, etc., etc. Maybe I can split these exchanges and go to another bank and not negotiate the rate that they want to offer me because the rate is going to be international, but doesn't mean that doesn't mean that you can increase it. No. What is the number one thing that private groups are pulling you in? They're telling you they're going to offer you higher rate. Guess what? You can do that on your own. You can do that on your own. Do you know how to make a deal? Do you? Do you know how? To, there's a lot of stuff. Make, go to YouTube. How to learn how to make a deal. Learn the basics. Do your research. Be serious. None of you done nothing. They're just sitting down waiting for something, some miracle happen. Okay, I'm rich now. That's the, that's the thought. I just told you about the girl. I just told you about all those tests that I've been receiving. When am I going to get paid? Are you serious? I'm glad I'm leaving. I'm sorry. I'm glad I'm leaving. In all my fears, the 98% of the people, especially people with good heart, I'm telling you, The reason why I'm giving this information to all of you is because most of you are very good people. And I really hate the thought that you will go broke in the next three years. Okay? I'm taking my time. Consider this, and it has been all like this, my service to the community. What I'm doing to you is a service to the community. I'm waking up your consciousness. I'm making you aware because right now I'm going to tell you something. This is, this is your intel. For those morons who already get out from my transmission, from this broadcasting I do in live, they're going to miss the intel. Here's your intel. Because, you know, that's why you're here, right? You want to know when you're going to get paid, right? Okay, let me give you my intel. Since I don't have any more contact... With the elite that has control, that has control of the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar and the dong and all that. Since I don't have any more contact, I do, however, have some special contacts, especially for one guy, and that guy I love him very much because he never let me. He never let me. He never put his back on me. Even though all those bankers did the same thing, they did that. They just turned their back on me. They just they didn't want to deal with me anymore. This guy did never did that. And according to what this guy told me, it is this. There are very good chances that we may see the dawn coming up three days after the after the dinar revalue. There are very great chances. Three days. And then three days after that, the rupee will come out. And three days after that, another currency will come out. Um, then he said this. He said, prepare your people the most you can do because they're going to need it after the RB. That's what I'm doing in this show. I'm following his recommendation, his advice. He said that not many people will like 
And this is something that I mentioned yesterday. If you don't believe me, go to the, go to the show of yesterday. I said it. There was this guy who chat with me. He had a dream for many years ago. And he said it. He just plainly said it, exactly the same thing. And this guy just confirmed it to me. He said this. When the dinar will revalue, a lot of people not going to like the rate. Because everybody is expecting at least a dollar, one to one. Okay? According to what this guy told me, and this is what his message is. I don't have control of the RB. Okay? I got I to gotta make sure about that because a lot of people coming in and start accusing me, attacking me. So according to this guy, he says, it will probably revalue up to 90, 90 cents the dollar. Okay? And then he come out and said, but three days, the dog will come out. And everybody's going to jump. That's their word. That's his words. So he confirming what the other guys dream. And he confirming the same information I got about a week ago. That's your intel. That's what you want, right? It still does not answer you when you're going to get paid, right? I'm sorry. Why? Because nobody knows. Nobody knows, okay? So, what are the chances we're going to have an RB? Many chances, I just told you. I'm trying to ans answer you and ans answer you the question you probably have in your head because I'm, I'm not that stupid. The RB can happen tonight. Tonight they it can happen. And then by tomorrow when you wake up, there you go, you're rich. But that doesn't mean you need to go to the, do to the bank. It doesn't mean that. I'm going to repeat that again. You got to wait for instructions. Wait when you see the international rate on Forex and all these places. When you see the international rate posted officially, that may be the signal for you to go to the bank. But don't go just by going. Prepare yourself. Secure your way. Look your back. Anything can happen to you. Understand that when this happens, there will be a lot, a lot of chaos. There will be a lot of panic. You need to take care of yourself. This is not just your money. It is your future and your family future. I hope you understand this. There are more things to tell you about being a good investor. I did not cover all that. You know why? Because I want you to do that diligence. I want you to do the research. Be responsible to yourself and to your own actions and decisions. And I'm, I know that you will become a better person, a very investor, and a much happier person. For now, thank you so much for your attention. And I hope, I really hope that tomorrow is my last show. And give you the good news. The RB is here. Thank you so much. And God bless everybody. Thank you for listening to The Fake News Show with Benny. See you next time for more conspiracy news, current events, and intel from the most controversial show from Montserrat Radio.